Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. I want my audience to know that, you know, we're entering home improvement season and better weather, longer days, and more schedule flexibility. So this means a higher demand for those must-do projects. I've got Mallory Mystitch. Mallory, let's get started. So how can we set ourselves up for successful, uh, a, a low-cost renovation project? Yeah, it is, it is a great question, um, and one we hear a lot at Angie, especially May is the traditional kickoff of the summer home improvement season. There's a couple things that you can do to really, a, especially if budget is front of mind for you. You can plan ahead. You can know when to hire a pro versus DIY. A lot of people think a DIY option is actually going to save you money. In the end, it might not especially with the number of people that report getting in a little bit in over their heads and have some work to do on the other end um, that needs to be redone by a pro. We also know that things like communication and setting up some really good regular communication with your contractor can help you stay in budget and help your your job get done with it uh, with as less stress as possible. I want you guys to know, as my audience, that Mallory Meistich is a home improvement, home care expert. So she has a lot of expertise. Mallory, what are the benefits of planning ahead for these DIY or these home renovation projects? Absolutely. Planning ahead can really help you ensure that the a, you get the pro you want if you're going to hire a pro. Uh, planning ahead, especially right now, too, we're seeing some material shortage continue um, since because of the pandemic, supply chain, global supply, things are all a mess. Um, so planning ahead is also going to help you get those materials in in, in time for your project. Um, planning also helps with keeping on budget, keeping your renovation within the timeline. And a nice plan, um, especially one done ahead of time, will really help you keep calm and keep that stress and anxiety down. <laughs> so how do you stay on budget, especially with un- the unexpected? That's what I've always wondered. You know, you set aside a certain amount and then you have the unexpected. How do you do both? Yeah, you know, the unexpected is going to happen. So I always like to say, and this is going to sound cheesy, but expect the unexpected. We recommend about a buffer of 10% within your budget that's not allocated to anything specifically that can help cover the cost of these unexpected things. Even your best contractor pro, they can't see under your floors or in between your walls. So they're not going to be able to anticipate every electrical plumbing or pest issue that might come up. Um, so putting that buffer into your budget is going to be really a big thing. I also Where like do- to recommend, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. Wrap up. I was going to say, I also really recommend people think about what are my must haves and what are the things ahead of time that I'm okay sacrificing on. Um, that way you're not making those live decisions as some of that unexpected comes up. Um, and you know what you can kind of trim from your budget as well. <laughs> okay, where do we go for more information so that we can have better projects? Absolutely. You can go to uh, Angie.com or even better, download the Angie app, which can be your ally, um, your partner in your pocket as you take on these home renovation projects. <laughs> this segment is brought to you, my audience, by Angie. And my stitch, thanks for being my guest. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on today. <laughs> I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.